your show now, press 1. To hear important instructions, your show is scheduled to start in 14 minutes, 22 seconds. Fourteen minutes until showtime. Thirteen minutes until showtime. Twelve minutes until showtime. Somebody get this cat. <laughs> no. Eleven minutes until showtime. minutes until showtime.
Nine minutes until showtime. Eight minutes until showtime. Seven minutes until showtime. Minutes until showtime. Five minutes until showtime.
four minutes until showtime. Three minutes until showtime. Two minutes until showtime. One minute until showtime. Your shoe will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Love Talk Radio. super weird um looking into a webcam instead of just staring at a computer screen the whole time all right sorry about my cold but 
Hey everyone, this is Lacey, also known as DJ Crab Lord on Crabcast on the air with HCO. This is episode number eight, Crabby Bug Out Tote. The original air date for this is October 8th, 2016. Tonight we will be chatting about how to set up an evacuation tote and what to do in an emergency. We had a lot of questions over the past week because of um, Hurricane Matthew about what to do in an evacuation type of situation. So we're going to go over that tonight. Um, also, if you're looking at YouTube, I am also still on Blog Talk Radio, so if you want to call in just to chat, questions, call in at 929-477-2202. All right, so I guess we'll get basically right down into it. I'm just trying to figure out everything, so um, please, please, please bear with me here. Because this is a little awkward for me, because I'm shooting from um, two different places. So, I gotta see. Oh, ha, I see Ash in the chat, so I'm gonna say hi back. Yes, there's a live YouTube chat and on Blog Talk Radio. If you scroll down on the computer, you'll also see another live chat. So, it's pretty awesome. All right. Now, because of what's going down in Florida, down south, um, I hope everybody who is in the group is okay down there. Because um, you know, it's just a horrible situation. So, okay. So it is working through YouTube. Awesome. All right. So I'm sorry about my cold, if I sound like stuffy or whatever. So, um, yeah, so due to what's going on in Florida, um, with a hurricane hit, there's a lot of questions in the group about evacuation, how to evacuate, um, how to move your crabs. And we didn't have, we have an emergency guide, but we don't have like a, you know, super duper, you gotta go now type of emergency type thing. So let's see. I'm bumping the post. All right. The first thing you're going to want to do is stay calm. If you know about this beforehand, get everything ready beforehand because you're going to want it. Um, you're not going to want to run to the store. Um, but a lot of things you should have on hand, which is the good news. Okay. Um, for an evacuation tote, um, it depends how long you're going to be evacuating. So, um, you're going to need blankets. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a blanket looks like, so I'm not going to show that. Foil. You may or may not need foil um, to warm up your tote. Um, hand warmers. This is what they look like. So, yes, I actually went out and bought these just for grab cats. Um, Tupperware. The older, the better, because you're only gonna want to put this inside of this. We're gonna be doing it live on air, and I've never done one of these things before, so it should be pretty interesting. With me living in New York all these years, you think I would have, but I haven't. So, you're gonna want a flashlight. Pretty sure whatever everybody knows what a flashlight looks like. Um, jugs of tap water. I should have brought my jugs of water in here. I have pretty cool jugs. During the break, I'll run out and I'll go get those. Um, insulation. If you want to pre-insulate your tote, that would be the best bet. Um, if, you have, if you're going to a hotel locally, you can um, put your under-the-tank heater already on there and insulate it. So, yes. Um, it's always best to start prepping ahead of time. Um, a bubble wrap will also work as an insulator. So I'm, I'm just trying to go over what I'm doing. This is so weird. Oh, God. All right. So what I got for an evacuation tote. If you're only going to be staying a day or two, you just need to evacuate because there's a gas leak or something in the area. 
I got this. It's not that big, but I think it'll work for in case of a two, three day emergency. Um, I would advise, I would just get the crabs on top. I would not advise going digging or anything as you're just going to have to leave right away. Um, and there's a little, you know, is it better to keep them there or is it better to dig them up? Either way, they're going to be super stressed, um, with what's going on. So I'm leaning towards leave them there because if you dig them up and bring them with you, the chances are are greater that they're going to die. If they're in the tank, they have the sand, they have the moisture, so, yeah, so, lay taupe. You're also going to want moss. Beautiful, and it got on me, beautiful moss, so moss. Like, you guys don't know what moss is, but, you know. All right, moss. You're gonna want some type of food so they can eat. Um, I don't know if crabs are like humans and they stress eat, but you know, food. These are Octo cakes from Perma's Kitchen. Shout out Perma's Kitchen. Um, you can also place it in a mason jar. These are cute. They're tiny. They're on Amazon. So mason jar. Um, you're also going to want some worm castings. So, wonderful, wonderful worm castings to put in the tote. All right, so I'm going to make a temporary home for them. You're going to want to get the tote. You're going to want to open the tote. You're going to want to sprinkle that moss up in there. You're going to want to put more than this. You want to at least halfway full or so your biggest crab can, you know, walk on top of it. You want that. So at least halfway. I'm not trying to flip you off, I swear to God. Um, so about there. You're going to want to add in your worm castings. Looks lovely. I don't know if I can get it. There we go. Oh, it looks so great. Then you're going to want a spray bottle. I'm not going to use a spray bottle because I couldn't find mine. With This is the rat spray bottle to clean their cage, but, you know, use tap water and your prime. Spray it down. Now, you're not going to want to um, oversaturate it. You're just going to want to make it damp. That way they have humidity and a nice little place to live. Okay, then you're going to want to put something in there like, um, you know, a hide. This is what's left of my crab's coconut hut. You can see all the E's and straws destroyed it very nicely. So some kind of hide. That way they feel safe. Um, food dish. Food. So, Yes. Now, if you don't, can't bring your under-the-tank heater with you or any kind of heat source, you're going to want to use these. I'm going to show you how to use it. You're going to want to take an old Tupperware dish, and you're going to want to poke holes in it. So I get to poke holes in it. should be a lot of fun. So, yeah, just poke some holes in it. You don't want your um, any crabs to fit into it, so you want just little holes. You can see that. Probably cannot see just little holes into the Tupperware. So, yes, the Tupperware doesn't have to be anything spectacular. So, yeah, holes into the Tupperware dish. Heat rises, so you're going to want to put them up here as well. So, this isn't working out so well with my scissors, so got my wire cutters just in case. This should be fun, see, you know, seeing me struggle live on air. So, yes, yeah, just 
holes, holes, holes all over the place. You want to do this so the crabs don't get into it. They don't get burnt. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to use one of these live on air. Instructions. It has instructions on it. Do not open outer package until ready to use. I think we're ready to use it. Um, remove warmer from outer package. Do not knead or shake. So you don't need to knead or shake it. And it's probably not a good thing. I'm just like, oh, with it. Um, peel away paper backing from warmer. Immediately place adhesive side on inside or outside clothing, not on skin. So don't put it on your skin. So it can't be good for the crabs either. Heater warms up in 15 to 30 minutes. After use, dispose with regular garbage. Ingredients will not harm environment. So, and it is good for up to 12 hours of heat. So you're going to want to play around with this because I don't know how hot these get. We're going to find out. So I'm going to go get the gauge. Should be a lot of fun. So this is what they look like. So. This is the back. So don't put it on your skin. So by the end of crab cast, we should see if this heats up. So I'm going to put it into the Tupperware dish. Yeah, it's not sticking so well. Oh, it's really sticky. Okay. Place the lid on. And we'll see how warm this gets. So this should be a lot of fun. It's not warm yet, but it says 15, 20 minutes, and we're 12 minutes in, so we'll check around 10.30, well, 10.30 my time in New York, um, to see if it's working, but that's what you want to get. You also want to give the crabs a water dish, um, very little water dish in here. That way they can just um, submerge themselves. We're not worrying about big pools. You want to add these pools later, so that's why you want to have your gallons of water ready. So you want these. You know, just so your biggest crab can submerge. Make sure you treat it with your prime. This is what prime looks like. All right. Also, um... You know, any container will do if you're doing it very quickly. Um, I have a critter keeper here. You can use plastic wrap on top of this to keep in the moisture. So, I mean, anything to get the crabs out of a bad situation quick. This is not going to be big enough for two to three days, but um, for like an overnight or something, like if, you know, God forbid the house is on fire or something, um, this, this would work out in a pinch. Tupper, Tupperware dishes would work out. Really, anything plastic that you can seal off. No. Um, if you are evacuating and you don't know what type of situation you're kind of going to come back into, you're going to want to, ooh, what do I have over here? Set up a bigger tote. I got this at Walmart for, I think, $12. I think it was less than $12. But this is only 7.5 gallons. Um, in an emergency situation, you're going to want to go buy the 5 gallons um, for crab rule or less. Um, you're going to want to actually probably go buy their sizes. Because it is not going to be a permanent home for them. You're going to set it up like any isolation tote. You're... Um, with the sand, dishes, food, whatever else, heating, humidity, gauges, the whole nine yards. You're going to want to make it a mini crab attack. But you don't want to put the crabs directly in here. You're going to want to bring this with you. You're going to want to put them in a moving tote such as this or into smaller Tupperware containers with moss. So this or this. All right, I'm going to try to take a break for a second because I'm kind of curious at how I'm going to work this. So, yeah, all right.
When most people think of pets, it's either cats, dogs, or fish. For some of us, we've learned that hermit crabs can make great pets. Yes, hermit crabs are among the more unusual pets, but they are very interesting and surprisingly not low-maintenance pets like most think. They're very entertaining animals. They can dig, climb, and swim. One of the most challenging things about being a hermit crab owner is having a support group for advice and education. That's where we come in. We are hermit crab owners on Facebook, and our number one goal is to educate people on hermit crab care, plus dispelling the bad information many owners get from pet stores. Join our Facebook group by going to Facebook, www.facebook.com, slash group, slash It's a Crab Thing. We're looking for people who are serious about hermit crabs and learning about their care. If you're sick and tired of seeing hermit crabs treated as throwaway pets, we're the group for you. Join us at www.facebook.com slash group slash it's a crab thing. When most people think of pets, it's either cats, dogs, or fish. For some of us, we've learned that hermit crabs can make great pets. Yes, hermit crabs are among the more unusual pets, but they are very interesting and surprisingly not low-maintenance pets like most think. They're very entertaining animals. They can dig, climb, and swim. One of the most challenging things about being a hermit crab owner is having a support group for advice and education. That's where we come in. We are hermit crab owners on Facebook, and our number one goal is to educate people on hermit crab care, plus dispelling the bad information many owners get from pet stores. Join our Facebook group by going to Facebook, www facebook.com slash group slash it's a crab thing. We're looking for people who are serious about hermit crabs and learning about their care. If you're sick and tired of seeing hermit crabs treated as throwaway pets, we're the group for you. Join us at www.facebook.com slash group slash it's a crab thing. All right, we are back. Um, and one second, I actually have to switch it back. Ha-ha! I got it. Um, <laughs> so happy I got it. Um, yes, that's that was the screen. Okay, I'm going to play around for a few minutes here because this is brand new to me. I'm live on YouTube, and I want to mess around. So this is um, the whiteboard screen, so I can actually write notes to you. On screen live it's amazing and I can draw too I mean I can't draw that great but and draw smiley face for you guys so um we also have if you want to call in and Skype you can be featured on Crowdcast and you can call in Skype and talk with me so um, my username is pretty in ink 87x so if you need it, just ask me. It'll be fun, I promise. Um, let's see what else we got. So, yes, this will be the main screen until I can figure out how to best to do this. Um, I only got home about an hour and a half ago, so I just kind of threw this all together and hope for the best. Um, and don't mind the messiness behind me. So, um, yes. It is getting warmer. Um, it does take a bit. I would probably do two in here, two to three. Um, so yeah. it's getting warmer. Let's see. What else do we have on to the agenda tonight? Do I have any questions? Let's see. Oh, there's people watching. Awesome. So I can see on YouTube how many are watching. There's four watchers, but we usually have a lot more listeners. And since this was um last minute, I don't think there's going to be a ton of people watching. So, yeah, we peaked at five. Ooh. And it tells me. It's weird. All right. So that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, we're going to go over um, what to do with a um, in-home 
crab emergency type situation. Um, I've already gone over this before. So, um, the, up here, up north, the worst thing that's going to happen to us is a power outage during the winter. We don't get a lot of tornadoes. We maybe get one every 10 years, like one. Yeah, and it never hits anywhere as major. Um, but, you know, you want to prepare for, you know, any kind of scenario that happens in your area. If there's a tornado, um, you're only going to have a few seconds to leave. Um, but, you know, if you know it's tornado season and you're under a tornado watch, I would get the crabs ready to go. Or any other animals, that way you can grab and go to your shelter. And the best thing about these little things, oh, this is getting actually pretty hot now. Um, you know, they take no power. They, it was, um, for an eight pack, it was only $5. So, and they had ones that also lasted up, um, to 18 hours as well instead of the 12. Those were a little bit more expensive, but, so, yeah, I like messing with this, I don't know why. Also, I wanted to show you the water jugs I have. They're nice and insulated. I have a salt water one. So, you know, if you ever got a bug out. So, alright. It's always best to start prepping ahead of time. If your tank is not insulated, I would do it. We got colder weather coming up, number one. And number two, you never know when um, a power outage is going to happen. I mean, I've had a lot of random ones in my time, so even when there's no bad weather. Um, you can use foil uh, to insulate real quick. Um, it doesn't do as well as um, Reflex, which is at Target, or not Target, jeez, Target on the brain. Um, Lowe's or Home Depot. You can go get that. Um, bubble wrap also works great against uh, as insulation real quick. Um, you want to um, place blankets, whatever you can, to keep the tank warm if the power goes out around the tank, um, keeping everything warm. But you want that window in there. You want to seal it up so you can see the gauge. Make sure you can always see the gauge. Um, and then, before sealing everything up, though, you want to drop these in uh, so you have heat, depending what time of year it is. You know, obviously, obviously, if it's summer, you're not going to want to drop these in. Um, you can also use um, mason jars filled with hot water, but you're going to want to wash those. Um, so the crabs don't get into it. Um, fill with hot, not boiling water. Place them into the tank. You can put a few holes into the top. You're going to have to watch it so the crabs don't get burnt. Um, in an extreme situation like this, you're going to not let want it to dip below seven, uh, 78 degrees. Normal is 80 to um, 85 degrees. You're not going to want... It's dipped below 78 because this is a, an emergency, so you don't want that happening. All right. Let's see what else we got here. I think that's pretty much it for tonight. I know this was a quick show. It was a last-minute show, so... um. Yeah, I just wanted to see if the YouTube worked. This is definitely getting warmer. So, it might be scratchy because I do not have a mic on. I'm just using my um, computer microphone. So, if you're on Blog Talk Radio listening in, that might be the reason um, I can get a port, uh, microphone that can hook up to my laptop and see if that works better. Um, so I know Robin just asked that question. So shout out to Robin. 
And I'm going to keep playing with this the whole time. Let's set it down. But yeah, Warner, definitely put more than one in these. It, it, it's, it's getting pretty warm. So, all right. What else? Do you have any other questions? I'm looking. I don't think there's any other questions tonight. All right, this was a short little episode just to see if I could stream and stuff, and apparently I can. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to let the jingle play us out. Crabcast, Crabcast, on the air with HCO. Crabcast, Crabcast, on the air, here we go. With your host, Lacey, DJ Crab Lord. If you're feeling crabby, it's everything you're looking for. For everything you need to know about Hermit Crab. Crabcast, Crabcast, HCO is where it's at. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye.